All right. Today I want to break down, you know, just kind of simplify what a face.if file is versus what a png.if file is, okay? The face.if file is very simple. So if you have a program called 7-zip, you can open up a face.if file. All of this is related to NBA 2K modding. Inside the face.if file, what you're going to find is everything you see here. Okay? Now, everything that ends in the extension dot dds is going to be a texture file now if you just click on it you might not see anything all right so you have to have the correct plugins to view some of these dds textures now the file that's called dot txtr or dot texture actually is the instructions for the game if you will it tells the game how to use this texture file all right it tells the game how to use it properly so let's see face color yeah all right so what we'll do is well let's take a look at some of these textures so we have face bent normal um, Blah blah blah. Dot DDS face color. Dot DDS detail face detail normal. Dot DDS face normal face wrinkle color and face wrinkle normal. All of these are dot DDS files. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna open these up. So I already have the correct plugin for these. Now there's two different types of DDS plugins. Let's see. Well, start. There's two different types. I'll show you what they are. There is an Intel TextureWorks.dds plugin, and there also is an NVIDIA.dds plugin that you can use with Photoshop, and I also I think uh, GIMP, a program like GIMP, maybe a few other programs you can use them with. All right, so let's do what we gotta do. I'm just going to select all those files. So if you're using 7-zip, you can literally like click on the texture file and drag it out to your desktop if you want. And I've already done that with all the texture files. So I'm going to minimize 7-zip. If I'm going too fast, slow down the video speed, guys. If I'm going too slow, feel free to speed it up. All right, so here are all the texture files. I'm just going to drag them over into Photoshop and it says, this file contains a transparency. I always click load transparency as an alpha channel. It says this file contains mint maps. I never load the mint maps into separate layers, never. It's no point for me. All right. So every chance I get, I'm going to click on load transparency as alpha channel on all of these. And I'm never going to load the mint maps into separate layers. That stuff just doesn't matter to me. And it looks like one of them already did. May have did it on its own. Let's find out. Yeah, for whatever reason, this one. I'll go back to wrinkle color. Let's see if I can. Nah. Wrinkle color. Okay. Low mint maps in the separate layers. It didn't have an alpha layer. Alright, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna click okay all right all right so the face bent normal dot dds looks like this uh this is a just a regular normal map and it's actually one i edited so uh, you guys can look use google to figure out what a normal map is now right here this is the one of the main files that you'll use if you're a modder it's the face underscore color dot dds file and this is the texture that is displayed in game and it does have an alpha layer the alpha layer for this particular file all it does is it controls which parts 
of the skin texture will have uh, the most lighting. So the areas with white will always have the most lighting. So it'll look like skin and the darker areas will usually be hair. All right. So like this mouth area doesn't really matter because the black part here doesn't show up in game. But uh, yeah. All right. So let's get out of here. And you guys can also look up alpha uh, alpha layers on Google if you want. Let's go to face detail normal. You can kind of see it uh, again. This is another normal map. This one is mostly for the hair. Alright. Uh, face normal. This one is more of a normal map for the skin itself. Um, I'm just going to click off this. These are kind of minor textures to me. Except for this wrinkle. Well, not, not necessarily the wrinkle color, but the wrinkle uh, normal map here also goes with this. I don't know exactly what the color portion of this does, but I know it uh, basically this is a key for the game to this triggers the game like when the player's faces wrinkle up when they do different expressions and then the wrinkles show up without this file. The wrinkles won't really show up. So anyway, all right, so I've gone through all of this stuff. I'm just trying to give you guys basic ideas of what is what I'm not going to stretch this video out any longer than it already is go back to 7 zip if you, now right now we're inside of the face.if file and I've shown you all of the textures that's in there now if you wanted to rename a file like this .dds let's say I want to name it um, let's say I want to name it well I don't really well I'll do it Lamello put Lamello and C Lamello C so it's face underscore color underscore O dot Lamello C dot DDS and so I've just renamed it I'm going to copy that name and then this face underscore color underscore old texture file. Drag that to my desktop. I'm going to I'm gonna open it up in Notepad plus plus. I, I just like using note Notepad plus plus. All right, kids, calm down. Stop. Got it. This is the life of a dad. Um. Okay. So inside of this face texture file down here at the bottom I'm just gonna replace this highlight all of that inside the quotation marks paste and then just save then close it out and then I can just so I just save this file so now I'm just gonna drag it right back in there ask me if I want to copy it I just press yes so now I can delete the one on my desktop. Don't need it anymore. And when I open the one that's inside 7-Zip, it says what I needed to say. So it's going to call this exact, um, this exact texture file. All right. So a lot of modders can use this if they want to change around things. And for people who are just beginners, they probably don't know you could do that. But anyway, this is all inside of the face.if file. See if I press this little arrow to back out. That was all inside of the face.if file. All right. All right. My kids are getting crazy over there. So I'm going to end this video. I'm not going to make it 10 minutes. So, all right. Till next time. Catch you guys. Hey, guys. I try my best to uh, keep that video under 10 minutes but after editing it looks like it's gonna be brushing right up against the 10 mark which is good for me as a content creator for youtube but in the future i, I try to keep these simple videos below 10 minutes all right guys